Hi guys, shalom and welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to come here again in Jerusalem. I really love to walk here as you can see with the walls of the old city. It's so beautiful and today is a good day. It's not very very hot so it's a fine weather so thank God for the beautiful day. So join me today guys as we explore Jerusalem. I've been here a lot of times and I vlog here a lot of times but still join me today. So now I'm in Christ Church. Um, here in Christ Church, it's a very, very nice place to have a seat and to have a coffee. And also, you can bring um, friends here and groups. Christ Church is known as the oldest Protestant church in the Middle East and it was completed in 1849 and one more thing is it was known as the Jewish Protestant Church just a few information so the Christ Church is over there guys it's very beautiful here and you should all come here The outside of Christ Church differs little from many Anglican churches. However, once you are inside the building, it has more similarity to a synagogue than to a local parish church. The communion table and stained glass windows contain Jewish symbols and Hebrew script. And like all synagogues in Jerusalem, the church faces the Temple Mount. On the eastern wall of the church, the word of Yeshua and the Apostles' Creed are engraved in Hebrew. Hi guys! So, I've been here in Jerusalem so many times. Like what I said, I cannot count how many times I've been here in Jerusalem. So, I really don't know what to vlog. So, I decided that I will just vlog the streets in Jerusalem, especially in the old city. So join me today to see the beautiful streets here in the old city. So I'm walking around here on the street 
of Old City Tourism. All the beautiful. So we're gonna see some. Are you ready to walk along with me in the Asian street filled with history? Let's go! We are going to walk now in the northern section of the Cardo. Wow. It is built by the Crusaders in the 12th century and was uncovered and restored to its function as a shopping area. You can also find here a lot of paintings made by the fine artists in Israel. Here you can take uh, and pay bank transfer. So if you want something here, you can take and pay by bank transfer. It's so beautiful. So he is the artist, Yehoshua Wiseman. So he is the artist who paints everything here. As you can see, this is his name. Yehoshua Wiseman. It's this one. It's very nice. I think I saw it on a photograph or something. So beautiful guys, you know how I love painting and also I paint. So it's so nice to see so many pieces of paintings here. Just felt skilled of painting. Fine art. Yes. So I just walked out with so many paintings a while ago and as you can see everything here is still closed because of the COVID. So I hope that soon all the tourists will come here again and yep. It's beautiful. So there's some more paintings here. Everything is painting. How to play golf like Moses. How to play golf like Moses. <laughs> this is so nice. Good Shepherd. This, I like this verse from Isaiah 40 verse 31. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with eagle, with wings as eagles. I like this verse. 
Isaiah 40 verse 31. I think this is very very popular because I read it as well before. Like, there is a great battle that rages inside me. One side is a soaring eagle. Everything the eagle stands for is good and true and beautiful. It soars above the clouds. Even though it dips down into the valleys, it lays eggs on the mountain tops. The other side of me is a howling wolf, and that raging howling wolf represents the worst that is in me. He eats upon my downfalls and justifies himself by his presence in the back. Who wins this great battle? The one I feed. The one I feed. He then added, I challenge you all to feed the eagle. Remember your nation depends upon it. God bless you all and semper fidelis. It's so nice. And here we have the gratitude. Second Kings 20 verse 5 I have heard your prayer I have seen your tears behold I shall heal you Beautiful So beautiful So I hope you receive those verse unto you that God will heal you So beautiful What a beautiful king he is, what a powerful king he is, what a glorious king he is. So the artist of this is Pupi. Beautiful, huh? Very beautiful. So guys, this quarter is like a uh, Jewish quarter. It's, it's called an artist quarter where they showcase all their paintings, now I'm going back. I'm going now to the other streets of Jerusalem. So let's go. While the shops here sell modern merchandise, they retain an aura of history. Fine, Israel. So beautiful here. Guys, so behind me is the olive tree. As you can see, it's so beautiful. I don't know. Can you see it? So beautiful that olive tree standing there. It's just so beautiful, guys. So now we are in what we call city streets, Byzantine Cardo and the main street of Jerusalem in the 6th century AD. Okay, how could I know that? It was written there. <laughs> no, but actually I read as well some history, so that's why. what you call the cardo or the Jewish street it is a street full of people as you can see right here it's a market people sell they have carried their sheep to sell fruits vegetables it's a market before and it looks like this did you see the column this columns all these columns that you can see it looks like this it looks like this painting
imagine before in the ancient time that this street is filled with a lot of people buying and selling it was a very active place because there's a lot of trading that happened here all these columns that you can see it, uh, it goes more and more over there So we have here the Jewish Quarter through Mosaic, the story of the Western Byzantine Cardo. You see, during the Byzantine period, Jerusalem and the land of Israel were awarded central importance as the setting of the stories of the Bible and the events of early Christianity. Jerusalem was built as a magnificent city with surrounding walls, towers and gates, churches, a healing center, and the broad streets paved with stone. The Temple Mount was left in ruins and for most of this period, Jews were not permitted to live in the city. It's the long one, guys. I cannot read everything. In recent years, attempts have been made to revive history in the covered Cardo Street in the Old City. Testing actual and contemporary content in 2,700 years of history. Today, you can be impressed by the spectacular mosaics consisting of thousands of colored mosaic stones created and designed by the Jerusalem artist Dudu Harel. The mosaic showcased nine stores selling typical products or typical artisans inspired by archaeological finds. Today, it is possible to walk along the Cardo just like the ancient Jerusalemites did back in the 6th century. Amazing, huh? Well guys, as you can see, my visit to Jerusalem is always not complete without going to the Kota. So now, going to the Kota. Thank you so much guys for watching and for coming with me in touring the old city of Jerusalem. I hope to see you again on my next vlog. Please do not forget to like, comment, and share this video to everyone. Lihitraot! Bye!